Okay, ladies and gentlemen, good, good day. Uh, so today, I want to tell you about how you can make more money for less work days. Right? Now, this is the reason for this video. In fact, this is the reason for the channel, if I'm being honest, right? The whole idea, okay, is that, you see, this business... Bolting, ride sharing generally is something that allows you the luxury of self being self employed. That means you can choose your work hours. That means you're not exactly, you know, working for someone. Okay, even 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 if you have a car on hire purchase or if you have a car on rental or something, you're not necessarily working for them as long as you can still deliver to them. Right? So that being said. The whole purpose of the videos and the channel is 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 to kind of like find a way to make progress, not survive, because that's the norm, right? That's the whole point of like having a regular job, survive, right? You feed and <laughs> you pay your bills and then you do it again. Then you feed, you pay your bills. Like there should be a growth process, okay? That's why... I throw out some kind of um, hints like, you know, how to, you know, benefit or take advantage of some kinds of loopholes, right? So, please, do uh, be attentive to this stuff because the whole idea is growth. Let's, let's grow together. So, here's the thing. This particular video, I want to talk about specifically how you could work for a few days and still make a very remarkable sum of money from the business and the reason I'm making this video is this I still remember when I started although um, when I started I had a bit of distraction because I was in school then so I just I was doing it like on part-time so but the thing is every little opportunity I get I jump on it like and then the days I go out let's say on the weekend when I'm not having classes I tend to I tend to come home with something quite substantial and then I'm feeling like oh my god if by the time I get out of this school I am really going to focus on this and I'm really going to make serious bank but the thing is this <laughs> when I actually then uh, got the opportunity to do it more as um, full time right just after i graduated so i was uh what well, it was exhausting to be honest to work every single day you would make bank but it was exhausting i remember i broke down after a couple of weeks because i was extremely tired i was rest deprived i broke down now the thing is this some people actually have the capacity to work five days six days in a week they just they keep working some other people not so much maybe due to age maybe just normally they can't drive for too long because well that's how much their capacity can carry them some other persons if at most people <laughs> are extremely lazy <laughs> It's uh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I take that back. They are not lazy, actually. They're not lazy. But even if they are, it's a good thing, right? Some dude, I think it's Bill Gibb, but I don't know. He said something. He, he was like, <laughs> if you know, I think he's a Lamox. You know what? I don't know. But the saying blessed me. So here is it. He, he, here's how it goes If you want something done easily, you give it to a lazy person he will find an easy way to do it right so that's the whole point of this video by the way now how do you work very few times in a week and still make serious bank by bank i mean still make enough profit i, I hope i'm not being misunderstood last week i think i had the privilege of speaking to this fellow and then he, he he broke down his earning for like a week he actually worked 
uh, seven days. You know, I, I don't know how he uh, manages it, but uh, I didn't actually ask. But he actually worked every single day for the for seven days, and ultimately he averaged around a hundred and a hundred plus in profit. That's after commission, although it's not after like things like buying fuel. And things like that because definitely after you buy fuel for the next seven days obviously you probably need to fuel up maybe every day or once in two days after you've done that and then you calculate how much it is you have you realize uh, maybe like 20 to 30 thousand has gone down from the hundred plus that you supposedly have okay and so I've always said this in the previous video. One of the things you must be very conscious about is that whenever you go out for work, when you're not well rested, you will you will struggle. You will always struggle, right? Every time, even I, when, whenever I go out for work, I just see people there parked on the shades, on the trees, resting. It's a busy day. The business is going on. The business is there. Surge probably there too, but they are rested. Like they're exhausted. There is only so much that you can do. There is only... There is a limit to which you can push yourself. Is basically what I'm trying to say. But if you're well rested, if you're very well rested, you can really, really go the distance. Give you an instance. On Sunday, personally... I had I left for work I uh, think it was like 8 a.m. or past 8 and then when I came back I came back around 11 or 12 midnight right that means I worked much more than 12 hours that was only because I was well rested the truth is I know that if I had done back-to-back -back works and all that there is there is no way I was going to be able to have the strength or the capacity to do that. No, it's not true. Okay? So here's the thing. Here's the idea. If you push yourself to work more times in a week, chances are in those more times, you'll probably be making something like, okay, in a day maybe you'd be able to come around uh, 15,000, maybe 12,000 profit. Right? Whereas, if you were well rested in that same day where you made 12,000, a well rested person may have made 25. Okay? And it's not because they struggled, it's just, it just flowed. Like, it just simply flowed with them. A lot of people have different ideas on how they like to approach the work. I have a friend, a colleague, I know the guy. He. He basically, he, uh, he goes out for work towards the evening time. He doesn't go in the morning, doesn't go in the afternoon. So none of all those rush hour thing. He just, towards the evening time, he goes out for work and then he works into the night. That's his own work pattern, right? Never works during the day. I have another guy, or I know another guy. He, uh, he works in the morning goes home and rest in the afternoon and then comes back again in the evening time, you know, when there's a rush hour, people are closing from work. That's his own, his own pattern. Another guy, he tries to complete a particular number of trips. Let's say if it's 15 trips in a day, he just completes 15 trips and then he's done. Different people with their different pattern of uh, an approach of working. Okay, so, but... None of it is wrong or right. Just wrong then. <laughs> None of it is wrong. It's just you have to find a solution that works for you. Let me share my own with you. Okay? This might help somebody. This might be useful. I hope it is useful actually. I work three times in a week. In seven days I work three times. I rest for the other four days like absolute rest. I don't even do half day or no, no, no. I don't do any of that. Three times in a week, and that's it. How, how does this happen now? Uh, let's say I go out for work, uh, let's say, on 
Sunday, I go out for work. And then I'm able to work. Uh, the reason why I picked out Sunday is because, you know, Sunday is a very, like, Sunday gets busy even till the dead of the night. It's, you know, it's a very busy day. And a free flow in traffic at the same time. So if you watched my previous video, I already told you, like, one of the best days for you to work is Sunday. Many drivers are not on on a Sunday. So the possibility for you to get trips in any part of town that you are very high very high okay now i go out for work on a sunday then the next day i rest i never go out for work two consecutive day never the reason is this after working or if i choose to go out for work today like when i work i really work irrespective of whenever i start the work i keep working until the search is gone completely. Sometimes that's not very practicable, but basically I walk almost to the death of the middle of the night, like 12 a.m., 11, something like that. That's when I tend to finish my work, okay? But then in the times when I was still working almost like today and tomorrow and the next tomorrow or something like that, I can't do that. I tend to go home maybe around nine highest or eight so that I can rest so that tomorrow I can I can go out again and rest. So you understand that I just broke myself into two. Now, here is the devious impact or the negative impact of that. Your vehicle, you run it basically every day. There is a very high chance, very, very superior chance that your vehicle is going to break down. Something is going to be wrong at some point. It's a machine. It's going to get tired. The suspension are going to start doing like this. The, whatever happens with your own vehicle, you know? Wears and tears are going to happen if you drive it so often. But if you're able to manage your time, like I said, on a Sunday I go out. On a Monday I don't work. I rest on the Monday. So I really work on a Sunday. Work, 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 work. Like, I I never get really tired because of, I know I've gotten the rest that I want, so I work and, and then having it in mind that I'm not going to work the next day actually helps me work even better. So I'm actually able to work like, it's almost like, bro, kill yourself on this work. Tomorrow you can rest as much as you want, right? Just die on top of this matter, man. <laughs> You know, that's how it is. That's how it feels. The next day I rest, okay? I probably rest like two days because on Sunday I work like twice as much, twice as hard, right? Then maybe let's say Wednesday, I go out again for work and then I really work, okay? And then I, uh, the next day, which is Thursday, I don't go to work. Then on Friday again, I go to work. Fridays are also great. Why? Friday is a weekend. People go to clubs and parties on Fridays. It's a very busy night. Right? So you can work even till the dead of the night, early hours of the morning. Right? That's what Fridays are for you. So Fridays and Sundays is very great time to work. Saturdays are also great, but I don't do Saturdays because I need that rest. I, I prefer to pick on Sunday than do Saturday and Sunday, no. I I just gave up Saturday. Saturday is Saturday is actually good, okay. But personally, I'd pick Sunday over Saturday if I have to pick one, okay. So that's it for me now. Just as an instance, this was the breakdown of my earning. Ah, the breakdown. This was what I earned. Was uh was around. I think on a Wednesday when I went to work, uh, I came home with like twenty k, twenty something, maybe twenty one, twenty two. Let's call it 20. Then the next day was, uh, I think that was a Friday. I came home with, I came home with less. Yeah, and yeah, I remember uh, it was around 17 or 18,000. And the reason for that was because I, I had to take on some car trips. Yeah, I had to take on car trips because my commission was almost reaching the limit. So I had to break it down. So I was taking car trips uh, for some time. 
so I didn't make as much, but I did work more than the day I actually made 20 or 21. So, and then on a Sunday, I, I think I made somewhere around uh, 36, 35, something like that. So, you can see like on a Sunday, I really, really did work. Like I said, I left around past 8, I came back around almost 12, midnight, right? So, like in that week, I've been able to accumulate, um, I think that's 70 something right in profit mind you this is not just apart from commission this is also apart from fuel i have bought all the fuel i wanted i had paid all the commission that needed to be paid so in profit what i had for that week last week was 70 easy okay don't get greedy i feel like this is where some people mess it up even if you are renting a car, where then you have to give uh, back some money each week, that's okay. I think, if I'm not mistaken, except it has been changed, I think the normal amount is 25000 I've heard some people, though, they've gone up to 30, some even went 35 uh, for the bigger cars like the Muscle, Camry Muscle, and the rest of them. But let's assume for the purpose of this video, let's go with the worst case scenario. Say you were delivering 35,000 each week, okay? And you work three times. Let's say you followed my method. You work three times in a week. Uh, like me, I made 70 something, right? In this past week. So if that was the case, uh, I guess you would have sorted out whoever gave you the car and then you would have kept 30 something for yourself in one week. It's not bad. The problem is you're thinking, you're probably thinking that, oh my God, had it been this guy's my own, I would be making like 150, 300 in a week and something like that. You know, we tend to exaggerate like that. We tend to feel like because some conditions are not in place and that 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 is what is stunting our growth no it's not it's not actually i'll give you an instance i thought about this uh, when i was still in school not too long ago to my pocket allowance for the entire month was something like 40k so maybe some we, yeah we can say 10k each week sometimes it was less like 30k right but here's the thing, I was able to make do. Like, I didn't really have so much of those um, errors where I was struggling or starving. Do you get? Because all I had to do was feed. I didn't buy fuel, I didn't, I don't know, I didn't do anything. I just fed from the four ticket and it was enough. Of course, you know bought some other cloth and some little little things on the side but it was enough right sometimes of course because let's say you had a bigger problem you get to struggle but the idea was that that amount of money was enough for me for one month one month let's say if i were to petition my dad for more i would have said okay give me 60 right let me get like a 20 extra and use it for to ball I guess, you know, something like that. So it was, it wasn't really such an issue, but now it's like you're in a business where each week you were getting something that you would have ordinarily gotten for a month and you somehow still convince yourself that it's not good enough. Do you get like, it's a mindset thing. It's a mindset thing. Some people have to work the whole month to get paid 70K. Managers and some people in some institution get paid 70, 75, maybe 80K. This is something you make in a week. And for some reason, you don't think that you have it good. Your mindset, you really have to try, consciously try, to actually bring out time and spoil yourself. Go out for buy pizza. It's 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 probably costly. 
in your head, but do it sometimes. You've earned it. Okay, you 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 worked for it. <laughs> Find the time to actually do the stunt. Uh, I think it's 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 actually something that will help you remember that life is not just about working. It's also about relaxing and enjoying the fruits of your labor. I don't know if you've ever noticed. If you have a friend or a colleague who works maybe much more than you do, you're going to realize that he doesn't quite enjoy as much as you would think that he's enjoying because, you know, he works twice as much. It's not really about the work and it's about the management of what you have coming in. Right? So much more than any of all these reasons, your car, the money maker, needs to be looked after properly, properly cared for. If you walk that car every single day, every single moment, <laughs> the AC is blasting, you know, the car is moving, you're firing, the engines are turning, everything is heating up. <sighs> Expect it to, to, to begin to decrease in performance soon. But if you plan your time, plan your day, probably do four times in a week, probably do five times in a week, but plan it in such a way that you don't have to bury yourself at work. The whole idea of being self-employed is that you get to pick your hours. Don't go because, oh my God, I have to know. Go because you want to. That's the idea. That's the beauty of the business. You choose your work hours and then you go when you want to. So, I hope with this few point of my I'm so sorry for making this video long. I just realized that Jesus, I've been talking for too long. So the 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 the, the whole point is find your work hours and don't bother too much about what other people are doing. Somebody might come and exaggerate to you that look, I make up to hundred k every week on this business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for him, good for her. Don't force yourself to also make and try to make the bloody thing a competition. Make what you can and rest. Rest. Okay? Don't die. The whole essence of trying to work is so that you can enjoy not to die. Rest. Eat. Feel great. Let your car too feel great. That thing is serving you so well. Okay? All right, so you pick your work days and then you stick to it and you would really, really appreciate yourself for doing this. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, till next time, bye-bye.